Okay, hello everyone. Salad Blue Sister with my co-host Bara Mew. Friendly differences. Hey, and today we are going to have a chat with Chill Will, or as he likes to be called sometimes, <laughs> Sweet oh, Willie. Yeah, yeah. That's not for this. this is not for this venue right now. All right. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, um, this morning, um, the three of us have been um, talking back and forth on another platform, and it got a little heated. And I must say, I'm the one that provided some of the heat, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> and you know, we were just, you know, talking about, you know, that thing called, I guess, race. You want to put it like that? Race and and white people and black people and I mean, how would you how would you all put it? I mean, well, it's it's centered around the fact that when I started elaborating about some things and you posted a video, what video was that you posted? It was well, two. well, originally it was because I was listening to, listening to a podcast that day. Uh, for preparation for a for a show that I'm doing, and some guy on Charles there Barkley. randomly brought up Charles Barkley, yeah. and I was like, "Wow, why why hadn't I heard that before?" Because mm. you know, through throughout my you know the last three four months being on Solid Blue Show, I've been trying to get that across, and I'm not the best, and that's where I you know put my hand up. I'm I'm not the best at putting over my views, and mm. that's why I'm glad that that Chill Will gets me so well. You know, he often like he hears what I'm trying to say, and he'll maybe elaborate and and Ooh. say it better for me. Um, and and today, well, the last couple of days, as Solid Blue says, I posted that video where Charles Barkley's talking about, you know, that the elites see black and white, and they try to divide us. They, 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 you know, they're 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 using us, and that's what I've been trying to say. So, so my intentions, whenever I'm on Solid Blue show or any show is to unite blacks and whites like that's my utmost you know i, I said to, to to solid blue before we even started solid uh, friendly differences is that i feel that's my calling you know i, I do these conspiracy shows on bar I'm you but ultimately I, I feel i'm best at showing the 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 division that's being caused and, and i'm trying to you know if, if if I have a gift, that would be what it would be. So so I posted that into the group, and and it, this is where I've let myself down. Is and I, it's because I'm a, a cocky. Quite, I can be cocky, but my reaction after it, I sent the video in, and I said to Chill in Solid Blue, uh, "Your reaction after watching this video will tell me a lot about your character." And I put a meme of you know the cat painting its nails or something as if i'm waiting patiently and, and it it can be seen as quite you know you know i'm i'm challenging you yeah. be bro be yourself bro yeah so so i did that and and it kind of you know it, it it was about about 15 20 odd you know it's back and forth and to me it, it's a learning curve for me it was more than that but anyway go ahead. <laughs> yeah so it's, it's a learning curve for me and and i want to get to the root cause of racism and and why and uh, all this stuff and i've i've heard you know i've never had the chance to debate people on it and especially you know meeting you two oh. who are obviously you know you've got experience and, uh -huh. and and you felt it all and and that that's extra better for me because i'm genuinely open to it all but what oh. I, what i also don't do is is I have my beliefs and I'm under no illusion that some of the beliefs I have may be agent provocateur stuff like that one you're referring to Will. it was Milo Yiannopoulos where he he reads out the FBI stats and oh. it doesn't look good on you know it does it doesn't bode well for the whole you know blacks yeah. are being killed by cops and all that stuff and um, it, it so what I would ask you know for you to take over now is what I did say in the, in the audio note before we joined the show tonight and you weren't able to answer because we joined Solid Blue Show is that guy, my, Milo, I know for a fact, he, he is an agent provocateur. That, I think that is his, his self-proclaimed title. That's what he does. He does it well. He winds up feminists. He winds up, uh, you know, he, do, he does all that, right? Oh. But are you annoyed at, because it's him that's reading those stats or are you annoyed at those stats because... If you're saying that those facts about you know ninety percent of homicides are black on black and white on white and not black on white and white on black, um, and also like I think it was um, blacks make up for 
fifty odd, sixty odd percent of the crime rate in America, but yet they only they only take up thirteen percent of America's population. So that obviously doesn't look good. Are you disagreeing with those statistics from the FBI? Because if you do, then we have like uh, I'm 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 interested to see why. Question. We have or, a big question. Like, so or, or are you pissed off because it's a white man doing it? Because I would then say, if Barack Obama stood up and read those exact same facts and statistics, would you still be pissed off? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you know anything about me, what you will learn that that has nothing to do with it. I'm 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 a fair person in general in reference to hearing anything. Like I don't care who said. Like I said in the show, I really don't care who says it, how you say it. I might even go at you at first. But I was go sit down and think about like, damn, shit, that was he, he, I might be pissed, but he well, was telling me the truth. You know what I'm saying? He was telling, or you know, I'll, I'll reflect like that. So, in reference to that person, I just think that's what what black folks would say. That's a part of white privilege. You can stand from that point. So some people would definitely get mad because it is just a, is is it your place to even say that? Because, are you know, you, you you're telling me about me. You know what I'm saying? So if I was, if I'm here and I'm telling you about you, you would feel some kind of way like, damn, how, you don't even know me like that. You go, you, you come up with some statistics and tell me about me, and it, it just, they're just stats, but they don't tell the whole story, right? So typically, stats are used as an analytical basis, but they're, they're, they're just the premise to, you know, when, when you, when you actually go and set foot in maybe a, a black neighborhood or a black person's shoes you know and so for me to hear those statistics and that's not that's that's another tool that they'll use they'll use the truth against you right they'll take the truth and they'll skew and although the truth they'll skew the narrative and that's exactly what that does so if like you said uh, i think he said a 30 percent of all i don't know it was like robberies are made by by are done by or you know done by black people but we're 13 percent of the population and we're 80 percent of the of the of the uh the uh crime rate incarcerated so that's that's right there this that's disproportionate so when you say 50 percent of all robbers was made by um were done were by white people but then you say you know what you look at the the prison system it's three percent white um you know the population itself is 50 percent about 50 percent white people 50% of all robbers. See how that, that trend goes? It's kind of like, all right, cool. So they're like about 50% of white people. There's more white people than black people just by, 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 by nature. But it's still proportionate to where you see the actual numbers of the population. But when you get the 30% robberies and you look 13%, 12% black people, that's the 20% gap. You know, so that's like what? And that's what we that's what we talk about. It's not that you know white people are oppressed too or white people don't go through things too we're talking about at the rate in which black folks are 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 hurt by whether it's policies whether it's the police and that was has to change now sometimes we may not necessarily know exactly what it is but if you're living in the hood and you're looking at it like i grew up in the hood, we don't like the police and of course it's poor like you know but white folks are poor too you can't tell me that you know trailer is there's more trailer parks than hoods right so you're telling me that they don't commit crimes, you know, they don't do drugs, they don't, you know, do enough to go to the jail. Only only if it's less than 10% of white folks, there's more white folks. You would think if my, more white folks are in America, there'd probably be more white folks in prison, but it's not. So you don't think that. So now, now white folks think, looking at that, black folks are criminals. And plus, Chill, you, you you hit on a good point that I didn't think think of. Um, when you say that, you know, that we're the ones stealing and things like that, what are we stealing? Because a lot of times a white person will go in and steal a pack of gum and they won't report it. A black person steals a pack of gum, it goes down on the record. So that adds yeah. to the stats. Yeah. Not you even know, that. So, oh, it's it, not mean, even but, that. Okay, but I'm just saying that, you know, it's like, you pick and choose and it's like okay well you all are doing this so we're gonna write down everything but they uh -huh. did this oh susie go on little billy not a problem you know so you know and that's and, what and, we privilege we'd be called privilege right that, and, that's, that's and then privilege. right and then so then that's where like the same thing with uh drugs you know with it, yes, white people 
when you know they're on oxy and meth and all this other stuff it's an epidemic but if for us we're a bunch of addicts and the thing about it is when you look at the prescription drugs that white people are on and that they're overdosing on we can't even get them because a lot of doctors won't even give them to us because they because oh, you all are going to overdose here go and go and take tylenol so we're not even getting that stuff so it's like when you look at where these stats are coming from are they even fair and usually they aren't because they're because we're being reported on little bitty itty bitty stuff oh he went and he walked out of the store you know with a you know um with a nestle's crunch oh you gotta write it down you know so you got to look at where these stats are coming from and and they're already skewed so you well, know not only that but the the enforcement of of uh punishment mm -hmm. in reference to blacks versus whites mm -hmm. you got a whole kid, yeah i got a whole kid coke and then mm -hmm. i can speak to this, i can attest to this personally because i unfortunately was in a lot of bull crap during my life you know you get an ounce of coke you take that ounce of coke you can make a bunch of rocks and make a whole lot of money off of it but if you grab those three rocks it, the, the amount of coke in that them rocks is a little bit you know cut but you get a guy that with an actual coke in the suburbs he gets probation because he's been a good boy all his life you know got good grades but then you got a guy that got the got biden coincidentally biden who came up with you know you know the the, the 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 one rock rule one year one rock one year one rock so you got i'm covered with three rocks i get three years this guy with ounce of coke gets and 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 it facially like it's it's just that's just crazy so i'm i'm well it's it's a whole nother deep what, story i can what, go to but that that's crazy to me what, what i'll say to that is uh, and i'm not saying it's every case but mm -hmm. to me i mean that sounds crazy and I, i'm totally like if that's happening i mean i'm not saying it's not happening but that sounds oh, to can, me you like can google that. you can google you, you can go yeah. as far as the dis disparity of, of the sentencing that, that sounds to me like the stuff like I, when i'm listening to both of you is there i'm sitting thinking how do you know that and, and i'll tell mm -hmm. you how I, how i think you'll know it it's because you'll know it through the media because they'll highlight the injustices like they'll purposely tell you that a white man got off with something that a black man didn't to wind you guys up and well, they'll do it also with us but okay and i have to push mm. back on that because because is is not just the media i know people in law enforcement who have just come out and said this is what we do i mean cops have quotas you know, and this is what we do. And some of them even laugh, laugh at it. They, 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 they think that that is funny. You know, in order to make a quota, it's easier to stop someone, someone of color than it is a white person because it's easier to justify that this black person because they're black, so they must have been doing something wrong. You know, so it's not the media, the media, the media. And this is why I say this has been going on since the beginning of time since you know since since yeah. Harriet Tubman you know whatever it's like you have a, a you know you I mean you know Emmett I mean go back and look at Emmett Till Emmett Till was killed supposedly because he whistled at a white woman just for something like that you know and it's like you know he didn't do it you know 40 years later you know, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Carol, uh, I can't even remember the woman's name. She's not even worth remembering. You know, she lived to be 80 something. Emmett Till died at the age of 14 and she admits that she lied, but he was black and down South, you know, so it's like, it's not the media, the media, the media. That's why it, it just bugs me to continuously to hear the media, the media, media. Does the media do things? Yes, but are they 100? I don't, you know, no, they aren't because this has been going on for as long as we can remember. We have been the ones who, if you want to step on somebody, it's white people here, then you have the Asians, then you have the Latinos, and then the black people is just y'all at the bottom. And that's the way it is. Well, that, then is, the, that is then you got the you got the gay community over that. Then you got it's a couple more it's a couple more things over there. I mean seriously over, and then and then, yeah, and then, yeah. with, then with the gay community, I always chuckle to myself because I'm like you have and i'm going to get in trouble from 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 from, from, from gay people of color i'm going to get in trouble for saying this but 
you all are so into the these white gay people don't they they y'all y'all not on the same level y'all not you know so you know just like that million that million um women march whatever you had a lot of black people a lot of black women who, who started in that and they're like well they're not treating us the same way how we not gonna do that the feminist no. movement that was started that 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 you know colored folks attached them colored women attached themselves they're not the same plights we didn't have the same issues and that was exactly the 70s. like it's that was yeah, we're not even it, yeah, the same yeah, yeah. amount of money so it's like y'all go march on washington all by yourself wear your little pussy caps and all that stuff march on washington yourself but we're not going you know so <laughs> so it's like i don't need the media to tell me i don't need the government whatever i can look around and see it's it isn't fair so what well one thing I would say you could go and, and reference is just reference policy, right? The crime bill. Um there's a there's a well known video of, of Bernie Sanders before they passed the crime bill, begging and pleading for for them not and this is during Bill Clinton. They called it they called the they, they they called Bill Clinton the first black president, by the way. A lot mm-hmm. of that's the coin they coin they got coined that, which it was so which pisses me off. It's horrible. And but he did the probably the worst for black people out of any president by creating the crime bill because that was in which you know they sent a lot of those guys. Yeah, because it was the three, the three, three strikes, three strikes yeah, rule. Three, three strikes rule. And so and it separated a lot of families. And um, but Bernie Sanders is a video of him standing on the I don't know the Senate floor saying this law is exactly what racism is, it will disproportionately affect specifically black people black fathers black that are, he's a whole 20 minutes bill and they pass it anyway and so that right there because what of the, the how the three strike rule was it, it i said again it, it, the, the yeah, three strike the rule was, was basically didn't matter what you i mean remember because the one guy because when remember that one guy he had stolen pizza he, he stole a, a slice of pizza or something and and it that was his third strike he, he he went to prison, <laughs> and then and then it also it also had a little like nuances in there. Uh, and when I, I also mentioned the one rock, the one year one rock rule, guess what they sell rocks at? They sell it in the hood. That, that's the only place they sell rocks. And so this is what they get away with to make it seem like it's a facial and it's on his face. It's like oh, it's just a rule. It's it applies to everybody. Yes, yeah, a rule. But where do they sell rocks at? Yeah. They still rocks most in the hood. Are they doing the, 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 so, so, so the now, one meth now you, rule? But they're not doing the one meth rule. They're well, not doing well, the one. But I got a rule. whole ounce of coke out here in the suburbs. You exactly. know the white guys they deal with coke. They could they can they got more money. They can deal with the expensive drugs yep. and they get probation. And it's yep. like what? Like if, and that's if, not, if I see that happen, probation, if they get pro probation, so so that's, that's why I said stats and everything. Yeah. yeah, I mean. I, I, I totally get this stuff. This is the stuff that I, you know, mm-hmm. learn about. I've learned about all this, how, you know, the government has, has used, like, CIA operations to go into, oh, yeah. you know, Baltimore's and, and all that. And, and mm-hmm. like, like this this is something that, you know, I, I talked about, you know, during the BL, BLM time, I was sharing posts, mm-hmm. and someone reached out to me and said, you know, and they had quite racist views. Like, if, if they were here right now, you guys would be hating them. And yeah. I says... I, I totally understand where you're coming from. However, uh, the, the problem is, is you don't go far enough and say how to fix it. Like, let's take like Baltimore and and these these places are, you know, it, it, they're they're shooting up each other every weekend. There's are double figures, you know, shooting each other. And I I listened to a few podcasts and and done a bit of research into that. And what I'll say is, I do believe that these areas are being targeted by. Um, you know they're pushing uh, music into those uh, society uh, cultures like gun crime like fuck the popo and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. and that is like what they do and, and that's why i am all about the media because it, it's like if if you you know first of all you, you break down the family unit so it's a lot of single mothers so the sons are growing up with no role model they're they're, they're attaching themselves to gangs and then they're shooting each other up because they're they're in that gang culture that mentality and Mm-hmm. When I've heard any of these like things get mentioned about like the black culture needs to sort itself out before they start saying like that is very provocative 
And what they don't do is they don't then say why and and how and and how to solve it. So why with oh we've lost solid blue. Someone, oh, someone didn't want to say those things. I'm not sure what happened. It wasn't me. No, no, no. no. Um, so, so that that type of music, that type of culture, plus pulling the funding out of Baltimore. I remember, I think Trump was involved in that. Like he he didn't want to give the check to those uh, places because they'd already had enough money, and and it's like that. So you're not giving people things to do, you know, so that they're going to go. Like I see it here in the UK, like kids hanging around street corners getting up to mischief and then they end up getting lifted by the police they get criminal records because there's no funding in those cities there's no nothing for these kids to do there's no parks and and that's where i think a lot of our focus gets distracted because we're we're listening to the media talking about george floyd and and jussie smollett and and brianna taylor which I don't like. I think with those, the ones that are like the main ones, like the the George Floyd ones. Whenever I've looked into them, I'll find that it's it's not as you know as like you guys are like probably gonna say oh and and listen. I don't for one second believe they should have lost their lives, but I'm telling you what, it's not as cut and dry as what you guys will think. It's there's always another side to that story. Like I think it was the Brianna Taylor one where. She was held up and it was something to do with drugs and the police tried to bust in and there was gunfire going off and she got caught in the crossfire. But they won't tell you that. They'll tell you that that uh, she was innocently sleeping in our bed and the police went up and put a bullet in her head, which is just lies. But that's, then, not, what they, but that's not but that's not what, what they said. And I mean, and even going going back to to to. Was that Brianna Taylor though? That, I think Brianna no, Taylor no, was with, the one that with, was with Brianna Taylor. She was the one um, um, that, that that was asleep, and and it was her boyfriend. So who you know, was the one that was Her boyfriend with, with the whole drug thing, and they yeah. it was a no knock warrant. So someone's busting into their house hmm. with, and they don't, and and her boyfriend didn't know if it was the cops, or whatever. They're just busting right. in. So he <laughs> grabs his his gun. I would grab um, um grab mine. You know, so he grabs his gun to shoot, and and then the cops shoot. You know, so so. And then yeah. They didn't announce this. Is a he said, she said. They said also said they didn't. They didn't announce themselves. They didn't come. They came in plain clothes as well. So if somebody comes in plain clothes and busts my house, say they police. How am I supposed to know they police? Well, yeah. exactly. And and the whole thing is, you know, the fact that it was a no knock warrant. That right there tells you that, that, that they're they not can come in warrant. however however they want. So you can say blame media whatever you want to. And 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 with George Floyd, it doesn't matter if there was another side to the story. The fact still stands is this 17 year old girl stood there, bless her heart, filming the entire thing, and this man died. Yeah. So see, I don't care. I don't, see, I don't you you can say that oh that the film was 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 manipulated. You can say whatever. The fact that but 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 this is this is where I, I'm 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 having a problem. Tell George Floyd's family that the media quite, quite happily quite happily you know because because the bottom line is because and even you saying saying that it shows an insens and an, an insensitivity yeah i don't care i don't care if george floyd was white i don't care if george if george floyd was black green blue whatever the fact still stands is this man is still dead i don't care if he was a wife beater i don't care if they said the same thing about rodney king when rodney king got got his butt whooped you know whatever the fact still stands is it never should have happened it no, never yep. should have happened so when i say go tell that to their family whatever and you're saying yeah you know because, i mean no, no no because let me let me let me just reiterate it. it's like this is like this is what they do they, they they've had like you try to tell me that he was the only black man that died that day no no the, he wasn't no so, no, so, no. So, so you tell me why they highlighted his story because on that same day a white man died the exact same way on that same day they were okay. knelt on okay so let me ask ask this then how come people like fox news who is so far right especially someone like tucker carlson who is so far right he can come up your butt you know whatever so how come people like fox news who relish in things like that how come 
he wasn't out there or Fox News was out there going, hey, this white man over here was, was killed the exact same way. And how, how come they didn't put, you know, split screen with George Floyd and, and this, this other man because, side, side, um, side by side? Because you, you, you don't understand the, 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 the way the system works. Like media is, is not controlled by, no, government is not controlled by media. Media is controlled by the government. And, and even bigger than that, it's like when you realize that, you know, the media can't tell stories uh, that they're not allowed, to, you know, they can't just break out and tell stories like the Epstein Island stuff. I'm sure that I was don't a- think that's in our country, though. Uh, I think it's the opposite of the way around. Media definitely controls government, unequivocally, without a doubt. No, no. But not, okay, no, not at all. Okay, but at the same time, though, whether or not another white man died the exact same way, the bottom line is a police officer still murdered someone who was down who Can was who, who was who, who was down either way that person died yeah but listen see that technique of kneeling down on someone's neck it is a trained technique the police are trained to do that and the fact that he died is a tragedy should never have happened and, 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 and they also said that in that same technique whatever that where his knee was and whatever that after the person is already down and they're no longer struggling and he had not been been struggling i mean showing kept kept his knee down and they re, re restrained him for like an additional five minutes he had already yeah. stopped so mm -hmm. so okay so i understand about the the, the whole technique and stuff Okay, but he is down. He's not moving. Get the fuck off of him. And not four. I don't know about four people being on your back and on. on yeah, I mean seriously. I mean seriously. Like, that how, was a little how big he is. But I do get what you're saying. He was taught What's that. That's what he will. I, I, you're saying he was he was taught that, which is understandable. But some of just common sense. If a man saying he can't breathe, it, it, I'm pretty sure yeah. there's training against that too. So. Listen, listen. I, 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 to watch that footage is it's horrible to watch, and it's you're, you know, and even you're saying about the the girl that's videoing it. There was multiple people there. Why didn't they go over and grab the police officer? Like I, I okay, couldn't. Okay, see okay, okay. Ian or Bob, you have to remember one thing that you have to re remember. It was mostly African Americans dealing yeah. with. Oh, hold on, <laughs> dealing with cops. <laughs> <laughs> who more than likely can pull out a gun and even the and even the, the 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 white emt lady who was who was off duty whatever and she was saying i am a a an, an an emt i'm an emt you guys you have to get off of him he he isn't breathing you, you need to turn him on his side they were telling her to shut the f up so you can say why didn't they why did and they're all yelling they're all yelling at them get off of him he can't breathe he isn't moving he isn't moving so is it up to them or is it up to law enforcement who is committing this this act and they see again he's not moving and that's not if, moving is he has handcuffs on listen if, if there's a guy lying in the streets with a cop on his neck it doesn't matter what skin color you are or what job title you have you push the cop off him and say, leave him out. Like, you don't sit back and watch and record. And, I, and know, I, tell I, you get what, I get that completely. You certainly they don't look dying, though. for sure. They, didn't know, they, they probably didn't know he was dying, though. You know, and they probably, now I probably would have threw something at him or something like that, but you got to think about it. It's not, it's not that cut and dry. I mean, it, you, that takes a brave soul to come over there. They already, you feel like they're brutalizing the man. What's to say that they're going to pull out the gun and shoot me if I approach them? And they would, and then, you know, they like stand back. The one, Cop is like stand back, stand back. Mm -hmm. Remember, it was just not those four. It was one cop. It was was kind of the one cop was just kind of policing everything. Hey, you get back. Hey, you get back. And if you attack the police, they gonna shoot your ass. Who hey, wants to get hey, shot? Hello, hello. You know, no. But before they shoot you, they'll say taser, taser. So they'll pre so they'll at least have a reason. Yeah. Oh, it was a mistake. I meant to bring my taser. And you don't necessarily know he's dying at that point. If you're a person, you just know he can't breathe. But, he's struggling. But, you know, he's going to be dead. Still, but he's still. But again, he. The fact is, is that he was on the ground, and that's the thing that 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 that, that, that got me. It wasn't even so much. Yeah. Well, it, it was the fact that he that he wasn't breathing. But the thing that got me was the fact that this man was laying prone 
on the ground. You was on his neck with your knee, your whole body weight in and your knee. Head, and you right. are not supposed yeah. to put, and they have even said that. that. You don't train that. They even they don't came train in and that. said, you do not do that. They showed the manual, everything. You're not supposed to put your, your knee on, on someone's neck like that. But the fact that they, he remained there. He mm -hmm. remained there. You know, so, yeah. you know, and so that's why I say you tell that to, to George Floyd's family in the flip way. They go, oh, you're out, you know, whatever. That's just messed up. Because if you were to tell me, if, it's if messed, you, it's, if it's you messed up to it's yeah. messed up to defend a man that I mean I, I call him a man, but he, I mean he held a gun to a pregnant woman's stomach. He's been in jail. Say, and, see, and see, this is this is this is the thing that that I don't like. They did the same thing with Rodney King. Oh, he was a drug addict. He was that. I don't care what this. Yes, he did do, do, do that. Did he do stuff that was messed up? Ab, 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 absolutely. Does that mean he had to be murdered? No, that has, I've already, I've already said that. Nobody. Okay, I, I, okay, okay, so then why, why even bring, bring that up? So you're, so you're apples and oranges. I feel like it's apples and oranges. You're right. So you know, because because you, you, you we're sitting here yeah. in a in a pandemic, people being told you can't go to your own loved one's funeral, yet they're having the biggest funeral ever for a man that has been in jail fight was it five times he'd, he'd held guns to pregnant women's stomach I, I, he was on he was on some sort of drug that day that probably added to the fact that he you know that technique may end, ended his life and then at the same time he's walking into a shop with counterfeit money and we're all okay, crying let me, let me ask you a question was it ever proven that that was anybody ever know whatever happened to to that 20 dollar bill was it ever proven that it was it was counterfeit? Do we even know what happened to that twenty dollar bill? And the fact that it was a twenty dollar bill. And one thing that the guy said, if you listen to the entire testimony with that with with that young young man who originally said something about the twenty dollars, he said, "I wish I had not even said anything. I wish that I had just taken the the, the money out of my own pocket, whatever." And then they were even saying if the money was counterfeit, George Floyd was in that store like for at least another 15 minutes at the counter standing at the counter laughing and joking with the people before he he left the store so if i'm gonna pass a counterfeit bill i'm gonna pass it and i'm i'm getting out of there i'm getting in my car and i am gone i'm not gonna stand there laughing joking whatever but did we ever did they ever prove that it was actually you know fake whatever because all they said was they assumed that it was they never said it was they said they assumed that it was. And I have never heard anything else about that twenty dollar bill. Nothing. You see you see that that's that's what that whole George Floyd thing is exactly this last twenty minutes we've just talked about that. That's what that was designed to do. They've had, whether that was a real event or not, the, that event was shown worldwide to cause division between whites and blacks. Because the proof in the pudding is I just told you a white man died the exact same way the that exact day with that technique and you don't even know about it. So what and, does I that say, okay, and, and I said why? So so what I would like like to know is, you know, if this happened, you know, whatever, then is it my fault? You know, whatever? I mean, no, but I mean, I mean and when I say my fault, I, I mean but but you know, it's like why for all the things that that are happening that same day. I mean, but I understand what 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 you're saying. Okay, I'm just saying that the fact that George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Joe Smith, whomever, the fact that the world did find out about it, it was still a heinous act. It was still something that should not have happened, no matter if the man was a saint or if he was a sinner. What happened to him should not have happened. What about then? Then does that not not take the racist card out of that event? Because then you find out that the white man died the same way. Does that mean that that cop was racist towards whites as well, or does it? You know, how do you feel about that? I would say that I that I look first and foremost that if it was another um, Chauvin, Chauvin is just a pig an asshole and he deserved what he got and he should have gotten longer and maybe he won't make the 22 years and something no whatever <laughs> but i'm just yeah, saying well, I, and i'll respond to that as well but uh but um the if if we're going to people's characters that policeman had several complaints mm -hmm. towards him mm -hmm. like several 
um, as far as and how it was, he, it was he, everybody, he, black, white, brown. It was yeah, everybody. yeah, yeah. So he, he and I, and I, I would never tell you that was a racist act. I, it was, it was the, uh, um, just a brutal act, mm -hmm. like just like a period. I don't care if it was black. It's just brutal. I, I don't, I don't necessarily even think it was racist. Maybe he did know him. Maybe he was a prick. They said they worked together at one point and whatever. Yeah, maybe, maybe. So that could have been a point to where I wanted to inflict harm on you because I've been waiting. You know, I, that's just whatever. But the fact is he died and they shouldn't have. But to speak to your um, issue about one man being um, killed by a white person being killed by an officer, which is understandable. They didn't highlight it in the news. You know, they didn't. They didn't. So that's that's can be that, that's the hot spots for the media. The media is going to do the hot spots. They're going to. They, that's how the that's how they manipulate us. You're right. They are absolutely you are absolutely right. They're putting black folks against white folks. But at the same time, it's our job if there's something is happening, which is once again the truth between police and 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 the inner city. Uh, if we bring that to the forefront, that's our job to bring it to the forefront. Now, but don't, but don't forget as, also as that folks, one but one reason why George Floyd was also put in the news was because right after that. Um, I can't remember the, the young lady's name. She went and she posted that entire video on. That's TV. what I'm saying. So that's why, right. It's our job to bring to the forefront. Who posted that white, that white dude getting, who made it an issue? You know what I'm saying? So whatever gets picked up is how it gets picked up. That doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, we shouldn't pay attention to it. Um, we're not going to pay attention to every, I mean, if something gets catches, it catches, you know, we, we can't control that, but we can bring a, uh, uh, a sort of, you know, hey, this is happening type deal to something that that's been a problem in the black community for a long time. It, we can use that. It, it is a catalyst, of course it is, because now we're finally paying attention to something that's been happening, and we we've been shouting at the top of our lungs for years, mm -hmm. and now it, it, whether right or wrong, we can use this now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, yeah, we definitely can use this, and that's what basically is happening. And that's mm -hmm. as far as uh, and, and like I said. If it happens over there, it's fine. But this still is disproportionately happening here. You know what I mean? I, I, we know it happens everywhere, but that doesn't take away from the fact that it's disproportionately happening here. Not only deaths, we're talking about wrong, wrongly convicted. Like you can, you can Google that, man. You will see so much about that. Disproportionately is ridiculous, and they're still letting out black guys to date. Yeah, yeah but see, see, when you're saying disproportionately, like, see a lot of these crimes. This is what I'm trying to say, like. When you look into a crime or like a, a black person being shot by a policeman, right? Mm -hmm. What you'll find it and what I've found in my experience, and unless you guys have examples and I mean I'm sure we don't I'm have not enough just say shot. I'm talking about I'm talking about crimes, not just shot. I'm talking about when we, we don't even have to do nothing but look at the prison system and see that it's 85, 90% black folks. So those are just yeah. Crimes, just and, and a lot of them are, and a lot of them are not even crimes. A lot of them are for death, right? And we're not yeah, talking but, about but just what I'm people. saying is, don't you think it's maybe not that it was because of the color of their skin that they were like? I'll, I'll use the the shot, right? You know, I've the one uh, last year was it where the young was he seventeen? He was in his car. He'd snapchatted him with a gun on his story. And then the police pulled him over for a random check, and he, mm. he, he did he reach for his gun or something, something like that. Like, and 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 what I'm saying is, to me, a lot of these crimes is not like the, the media will pose them as a racial crime that the, you know, the blacks are being mis un, unfairly yeah. treated oh, by police yeah, officers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'll say is, it I wouldn't say when you look into them, it wasn't because of their skin color; it's because they were breaking the law. Like, if you don't play silly games, you won't get shot. That's the kind of motto I've I, like. I've if you don't have a gun in your hand, and you, you know I've seen plenty of videos where a policeman there's a, a one that I've got on my phone where guy gets pulled over and he's getting held behind the car with his hands behind his back, and something happens and they go to tase him. So they tase him. He falls to the ground, but just springs straight back up, runs round to the front of his car, gets his gun, and shoots the two policemen. And that's why. I don't think tasers are enough and 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 you know some of these crimes and things that that get put out in the media it's like it's not because they were black it's just because they were dumb and they were playing they were they were breaking the law you know and if it was a white person yeah but psychologically there's a lot of things that happened in that with that though you see 
when you see a bunch of videos where you know they can de de-escalate when somebody's not black and it, it's just a, a, a there it definitely is a what's the word uh a stigma towards black folks in america right to where they're more dangerous you know that same stigma that you may talk about like yeah they're trying to create for the white we've had that we've had that for forever so when you, when a white cop sees innately you know they did a little remember i who did that study as far as what was the good the baby doll you remember the baby doll study that was um uh, uh she was from the uk um, i did a show on her um yeah, yeah, yeah. so when they they, so they say about, what's the good baby was the bad baby they show right. a black baby what's the good baby what the black baby is and they put a white baby doll and a black baby doll in front of them and they said what's the good baby with the back what's the and they all point to, even the black yeah, folks to media to again that's so, right I mean. exactly so so therefore do you think it's not going to go into that symptom although when they not be not made the cause or ultimate cause the elite is still a symptom of the elites manipulating us which is the police looking at black folks like they're criminals yeah you know what i'm saying uh -huh. and so now i'm oh, not yeah. more on edge i'm more likely to shoot your ass opposed to seeing you like my drunk uncle that was just yeah. talking shit. you know so yeah. th you know that's, uh -huh. that's the big difference I'm totally on board with that. That's exactly what I'm all about. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I don't deny that stuff. That's that's definitely, that's evident. Yeah. Okay, so, um, Bob, have you heard of Jane Elliott? She's no. from, the, from, from the UK. Okay, she did a blue-eyed, brown-eyed. Brown eye. And uh, she, she's been on Oprah. She was on Oprah years and years ago. Um, she did a really good... Um, uh, school study. It was in school, like a junior high, maybe. Well, she did one in junior high, but the one I'm referring to is the one that she did in the UK, and this was back in, in 2009. And the thing that got me about it, um, in fact, one of my very first YouTube shows when I was first podcasting, I, 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 I did a show on her. And it was so interesting because as a white woman, I mean, she literally just tears white people to pieces with this blue eye, brown eye thing. If, if you look at the, the YouTube video that she did was she um you know people were coming to to do this thing and then she and she's very mean and very nasty and she's like this on on purpose she says okay i want all the blue-eyed people to go stand here and all the blue-eyed people went to stand there all the brown-eyed people go and stand here so all the brown-eyed people were standing there and then the brown-eyed people there were people of color you know there were different races and stuff and there were white people who had brown eyes so she says, okay, all the brown eyed people, you go and you have coffee. <laughs> you have coffee and tea and all this other stuff, and there's donuts, whatever. And the and the the blue eyed people are like, well, what about us? She's like, you all are getting nothing. Just stand there and shut up. And she kept during the entire time, she was treating the brown eyed people like just so nice and everything. And the blue eyed people, she she treated like crap. So when they came together, she was asking the blue eyed people, well, what do you think? And she says, they're like, well, it's not fair. You know, you know, why are you treating us like this? And why are you treating like this? And, and then, so then she came out and said, because I want you to know how people of color feel. I want you to know what it's like. And she says, this is nothing. She said, this is just one day of you guys not getting whatever you want, but these brown eyed pe people are. And the blue eyed people got really upset. So there was this one teacher who, what she said to me was just so, just amazing to me. She, they were in a little group talking and she goes, she was a teacher and she said that a, this is the word she used. And I don't know if it's a UK term or whatever, but I was like, wow, this is 2009. She says that there was a half caste student of hers on the playground who fell and the little girl's crying she hurt her knee and when she went to help her she was shocked that up under the up under the scrape it was red she says i don't know i thought that maybe it would be brown i was i was shocked that it was red and i'm saying to myself you've got to be kidding me you are seriously saying to myself first you call the little girl half cast which are, will automatically makes her less than. And then you're gonna say that you're shocked that her knee scrape was not bleeding red, but it was, you know I mean? That it, you were shocked that it was bleeding red, that you thought it was something else. And I'm saying to myself, are you that stupid? Are you that dumb? Are you that ignorant? 
I mean, seriously. Some places, yes, though. Like they have no, and that's what I think for black and, folks. And that's though. where I say you need to recognize, right? That, and this is what I'm saying. Recognize when sometimes it, it may be that because we, I just didn't even know that was like you know, hey, or the Orientals. I didn't even know it was offensive to you know Asian people to call them Oriental. They'll say it's a rug. So things like that definitely happen. Like so, her telling that story, she could have been in a complete like. Like just but, okay, but you're gonna tell me that. Okay, well, you're gonna tell me that the UK and she is a teacher. So you're gonna tell me that you're a a teacher and you don't have different races and what have you, or just walking down the street, you don't see white people, black people, Indians, or Asians, mm -hmm. whatever. I mean, you're gonna. I mean, are you? I mean, we're not talking the 1950s or 40s where you know you're maybe more, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. But you know, this is two to 2009. So when the when the experiment ended, you know, you know, Jane Elliott, um, you know, she just said, you all just need to see how people of color feel. So then it made me go back and look at one that she did in a high school here in the US. And she had these kids running out in like tears. She had these white kids running out in tears, you know, because she's like, this is how they feel. You know, and this is and this and this is what it is. Now, some people may say, well, that wasn't fair. You shouldn't have done that, whatever. But it was an experiment where, you know, you know, for once it was like this was an experiment where you did kind of separate the blue eyed people from the you know brown eyed people. And there were, like I said, white people who were in the brown eyed group, whatever. But go and, you know, pull it up. And because it's because it's, it's very it's, it's very interesting and. And Jane Elliott gets very mean and very nasty. And I think, and again, she's she's doing that for a reason. But um, watch it, you know. So I, I I can't say I agree with that form of experiment. I would say that's quite harming to children, if it, especially because it's on children. Okay, but um, what about adults? I mean, even like you know, you know my stance on like promoting like uh basically white guilt they're trying to press white guilt onto okay, people like okay but, okay but then again but but this is what i'm saying by now it comes back to where the shoe is on the other foot so now it's like it's been like you all are this you all are that yeah, you all but, are bad bad you know black is bad so now it's like people are starting to question and starting to push back and all of a sudden it's like oh no no, no, it's not that. It's not that. It's it's basically two wrongs don't make a right. Like because you guys have been oppressed, you can't then oppress white people to make up for the oppression. No, I'm not. And I'm not trying to. Uh, I'm not trying to oppress you at all. But if it was, but what is it going to take? I mean, for her experiment, you know, I mean, it was an experiment. No one is oppressing anyone. I'm not no, trying that, to that say. Thing. Okay, but at the same time, though, but this is but this is what we go through the fact that our children go to school every single day and there's always going to be that one teacher or that one principal or that one coach that is going to say something that is mean and nasty to our children you know i mean when my son was in fourth grade during, i'm laughing but every time i think about it it just pisses me off when my son was in fourth grade he was one of two african-american kids in his class during Black History Month, the teacher thought it was okay that to teach about slavery, that they were going to do some mock stuff. The two little black kids in the class, which was my son and one, one other little boy, they were the slaves. Now, it's okay, like I said, it's okay for our children to, to go through it, but for for your kids, no, whatever, it's or okay. whatever, it's like, oh, it's white guilt, it's white guilt. No, it isn't. No, it's not okay. I, I, I don't like that your son was you no know, I, I see that that's where I stand. I'm like you keep your morals, you keep your 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 what's the word? Your you know, you stay true to your word. So I don't flop and flimsy with, with my, my belief system. I'm like true to to what I say and, and I think what they did to your son there was horrible and and, and I, I'd also disagree with promoting white guilt onto children and even white people who like I've never been racist, so why should I like like basically a better way of putting it is, do you know how they're, they're like bending the knee before football games and sports games? I'll, I would, if I was a football player on the big stage, I would never bend the knee. And because 
I've never owned a slave. I why I bend a knee for no no man. But it wasn't. Woman. But okay. But even with 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 bending the knee, um, I I totally get it. You know, and I even say now, this is why we kneel because you know you look at the Star Spangled Banner or you look at we the people and and you you look at the flag. You're not talking about us when all this stuff was was written and stuff. It was you weren't talking about us. And when Colin Kaepernick, I always say his, his, his name and wrong, um, I don't think black people had his back like they should have, you know, and a lot of things that he did, you know, I, I will, I 100%, you want to kneel, you go ahead and kneel. But the same people who are saying, oh, you're disrespecting the flag are the same people who have the flag on the back of their pickup trucks who are wearing them, you know, as a swimsuit, who are wearing it as a bandana or 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 as a picnic thing. And that is that's not that is disrespecting the flag. So while you're telling me that I'm taking a knee, you're sitting up here, you know, wearing it as a swimsuit and putting it on the back of your truck or whatever. I mean, that is disrespectful. I mean, that's 100 percent disrespectful. You know, look at the people who have burned the flag. It wasn't us. <laughs> you know, and, and I, I mean, one thing you said that that was the most important that the flag doesn't represent the same thing for the same. No, no, it it, it doesn't. And 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 growing up, you know, you know, we had um, on the fourth, yeah, we had fireworks. But after a while, my parents were like, "Why are we celebrating the fourth? Because on the fourth, we weren't free. We we were still out there picking cotton. And even and even now, you know, that Biden did this throw throw us a bone thing for for, for Juneteenth." You know, it's a federal holiday, which which most which will affect most white people, but most black people who it should help are minimum wage and they'll be at work at Target or Walmart or some of these other places selling Juneteenth. <laughs> well, the government sector the, is mostly black, I can say. So, you know, it, so it does affect them and they'll be off. Um, as well, far as no, like no, yeah. no, I in like this in terms of postal workers, maybe, but in terms of federal workers overall yeah. around the US, hey, it, is a, mostly, a, it is it is mostly white people, but what it should have been was Juneteenth, if you're gonna make it a holiday, make it a national thing. And he only did, it, Biden only threw us that freaking bone because he didn't want to deal with with the whole voting rights. No, he want to get no, he want to get reelected. Period. Oh, right. I mean, well, I, you know, well, he you know, always takes stuff like that as a good, grand he's assault. Not doing a good job, but he's better than the other guy. What <laughs> thing I do want to address? I, mean, like, I don't know. I mean, I, I, there, there's just so much to it. I mean, I mean. There's just so many components to just, I want everybody, I want black people to get along. I want white people to get along. There's just so many other things to it. And it's just not that easy to say. I mean, that's that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, I do know what, I want to just one other thing. When, like, I, cause I know is for, for you, by sense to be, I, I do understand a lot, whether we agree or not, I do understand exactly where you're coming from. And, and I do think it's an earnest place, but overall, like even like, well, say, for instance, with the George Floyd stuff, whether he's, a, like you said, a saint or a sinner, I mean, our lives in general, it's a marathon. So if uh, you might have been a you might have sold drugs, been a robber and I've, I've done a lot of those silly things. And so should I be, you know, not if I did some heroic, not not or just die at a. a you know, as a symbol of uh, oppression, should I not be celebrated? I mean, do we do we celebrate a man's faults? You know, uh, I mean, well, should we? You know, just because he has fault, should we not celebrate? Martin Luther King probably cheated on his wife several times. You know, um, I'm, I, you can find the greatest man that has the, some of the hugest faults. So, I, so to 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 attack a man's character when such a tragedy or and I could you could say what goes around comes around, yeah, cool. But overall, to to the symbol to attack a man attack a man under that circumstance seems kind of cold. You know, that's what I think so I, no, I think I think it's it, yeah. I, I have to clear my name on that because I've never actually, you know, it's the first time I've actually ever discussed the George Floyd thing okay. with people because you know, for people watching this and they they've maybe listened to my Baram You podcast, I've never actually talked about it on there either. 
but you'll mm. all know what I what I think of that whole that that whole thing, um, and I, and I'm not going to talk about that here. Um, so so I'm maybe blinded by that stuff. As far as um, what it comes off as, I'm not saying that you. That, you know, just, I just want to make sure you're understanding me. I'm not. No, no, because because I I often say like, listen, nobody deserves to lose their life early. You know, it's, nobody should be murdered and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I, I what I do take exemption with is that we we use him as a martyr, like the, the left or, or the Democrat. He's not a martyr to me. Well, it seemed that way for a lot of people. But even if he is, though, so so I feel like you, it, you're not gonna. I mean, Malcolm X was 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 horrible at one point. Some people don't like, you know, like I said, Martin Luther King cheated on his wife. Uh, Huey P did drugs, like for our heroes. A lot of them, they're gonna have some faults. Right. But not only that, you know, chill. It's like, okay, so we're talking about George Floyd now, and it's like, okay, where is he going to be 100 years from now? Because when you look at the people who who we do celebrate, like Christopher Columbus, okay, so George Floyd held a gun to a pregnant woman. Okay, you look at Christopher Columbus, who was a child molester. He trafficked children. He literally took out a, if you read his own diary, his own diary, you know, you, you look at the, Tor, the, the, the Torino tribe who had almost 1 million people when Christopher Columbus and his soldiers or whomever came after they left, there were just a couple of thousand. They used to take babies. This is in his diary. They used to take babies, those soldiers used to take babies from their parents and they used to have this, this brick wall. Who can throw the baby the furthest and who's, who, can crack the, who, who can crack the skull the biggest? This is what Christopher Columbus did. So while we're talking about George Floyd, you know, you his, his and mm -hmm. doing you no know, drugs and stuff, let's fast forward. Let's fast forward to Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, who raped a, a, a girl when she was 14 years old and had babies by her, you know? And then even on his deathbed, he freed her children, but still didn't free her. You know, I mean, just look at all these people who we have statues to, whatever, that we're saying, oh, there, there are these great people. And we're going to talk about George Floyd or Rodney King or someone else who had drugs or they held a gun. I mean, so 100 years from now, what are we going to think about these people? So we're speaking mm -hmm. to the hypocrisy. You're speaking to the hypo hypocrisy of it all. Um, right. Well, right. What, what about, let's, let, here's, here's a, a hypothetical. Yeah. What if Donald Trump went out? tonight and you woke up in the morning and found out that he was shot do you think people would be celebrating yes yes J just like wait hold on hold on <laughs> just like i think that if um just like i think that if biden or obama were shot do i think people would be um yay who you who yep so I so do. then you understand where people like me come from when when you're looking at a guy like george floyd and not shedding any tears okay fine but but I but I'm saying but don't be a hypocrite that while you're going to say something about him, make sure you talk about the other person who is just as bad. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, so I, I, I think in reference to the cause or what happened, I don't. I think it's apples and oranges. I don't have to murder. Like I think that's that's not the fact. That's that that's that that right there is also a media deflection. That's what the, that's a tactic that they use to. Fox News or what CNN, they'll attack your character, so you can be less of a less of a importance. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's that's a that's that's a one on one trick by the media or the elitists. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the last thing they want to do is create a martyr or like a, you know, all like outside of what they can control. You know, if it's a guy, if a MLK or, you know. God forbid, just whoever that is. With, with Martin Luther King, and they're still trying to do it. I mean, yes, you know what I'm saying? They want that. Yes, so he they, had they, and everything, but they're like, oh, he was this right. horrible person. But it's not, you know, it, it, it all depends on how far are you going to uh, uh, allow it. But again, I say, it's the hypocrisy of it all. While you're so busy talking about this person, don't forget about this person over here. Yeah. That they that, that they did this, so you want to bring up somebody on on the left? Make sure you bring up somebody on yeah. the right, because I guarantee you. That mm -hmm. there's someone on the right, just yeah. as, as somebody on the left. There's somebody on the left, 
just like you got somebody that's on the right. So well, at the end of the day, there's an issue at hand, and there's an issue. And you talk, you spoke to solutions. That if that brings that as an issue for us to be part of a solution, finally after years of like crying, fighting, being whatever you want to call it, victim screaming at the top of your lungs, hey, this trying to pull ourselves up. If once now, it's the point is with the BLM, we're at the forefront from from a lot like after like twenty years. It's you got the you know the LGBTQ had their turn. They got you know whatever else had their turn. You know, and we've been at the bottom the whole time. Like hey hey, we and now we got. So I just I don't I don't I don't I'm not mad at it. Even if they are taking advantage of it, I still think you know it's 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 hey you know you whatever black folks can get out of this. Let them get out of it because they just it's, it's way overdue. Um, but you, know, you also have to remember at the turn of, of the century, um, you had a lot of ex ex slaves who were who built themselves up, worked hard. Oh, whatever. You mean you remember and, the Reconstruction period? Yes, and you know, and because of that, you know, there were so many black black Wall Streets. There were so many. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you had money there, one dollar would circulate through the through the entire neighborhood 38 times mm -hmm. before it left. We had artwork. We I mean, movie theaters, all this stuff. We had beautiful homes. We had many. Mansions. We had our yeah. own banks. We had our own schools. We I mean, ed we were educated. But you know what? The people across the tracks. They were looking the same. Why those? And I, yes, yes, I am going to say it because this is what they said. Why those niggas got all all of that? So what are we gonna do? We gonna go over there. We gonna steal from them. We gonna kill them. Then we gonna bomb the entire place. Then we gonna come back in. We gonna take and we gonna take their land. Yeah. Well, now, what we're gonna, gonna do is we're gonna create Jim Crow laws. Like fifty year what, span. What so we're gonna do is is, 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 is create Jim Crow. Right, That's so now we're, we're, we're at this up. spot now that we have just been unable to recover, mm -hmm. and it's like, well, yeah. oh, you all are complaining. Oh, well, you all, if you all were just do this, yeah. we did that. We mm -hmm. had this. Yeah. We and historically, it takes generations to build wealth. And, you know, and, and, and when I say that, that we had artwork, we had million dollars of artwork. I mean, we had, we had, we had the stuff. And it was gone. We're not even a hundred years out of the Jim Crow, so it's it's no, we are. The black folk. I, I, I'm not familiar with the Jim Crow stuff. I hear about it a lot, but I, I, oh, I've yeah. never looked into it. Yeah, yeah, Jim Crow were, were a set of laws that were in place, separate but equal, <laughs> which is is, is actually more on, um, put in place. Like that's where you get the black water fountains and the white water fountains. Black folks can take the bus, but the guys in the back and the white folks in the front. Um, you know, it just you can't come into this diner down here because it's the white folks' diner. You got the black folks' diner down the street. And um, they have to sit in heaven. You, so, you, so you he tried to segregate to to save peace. Or, 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 or to say, yeah, well, since yeah, they make up, but yeah, we you know we're just used to our cultures and our ways. We don't want to stir up the pot. Well, let's make a separate legal. But it wasn't really equal conditions. Well, equal nothing. So it, it's school schooling. Schooling was big. The schools too. Um, you know, especially when they try to desegregate, which to some people, a lot of black folks say like de desegregation was the worst thing that happened to black folks. And to, to some, they have a lot of point because that's when you did have these communities where black folks did everything. They were self-sufficient. We took care of ourselves, or, you know, farmed, you know, doctor, lawyer, each other. And we had, we had, to, cause we had to, now we mix up everything and they were able to take, that's a, that was a tactic to, 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 Decre uh, to to attack the black folks. That was another tactic that they figured. And these are calculated, you know. So when you say conspiracy theories, I don't. These are actually things that they sat in a room and said, "How do we keep the oppressed oppressed?" Because yeah. they do, it's going to be a problem. You know what, but you know what, Jill? I mean, growing up, um, I grew up in a. I had mother, father. Parents were mm -hmm. till my father passed. Mm -hmm. I told you. I told you the story before, or whatever. But my mom always said when we went to school because we went to school mostly with white people and mm. whenever we brought home bad grades wherever i brought home bad grades my sister didn't <laughs> i brought home bad grades you know but my mother would always say and she would get so mad at me 
as long as you, as long as there is one white person in that classroom, you will learn something because that teacher will be teaching that white kid. So you better sit there and you better listen. Mm. And yeah. that was that that was the rule, you know. See, and, see, and when you see, say that even that's if that is the way, case, see, even if that is the case, I am not saying it wasn't. Mm. Why would you say that to your like? That's horrible. That's no, like no, no, mm. no. No. That's good. That's awesome that you that's awesome that you say that because that's no. exactly what has to happen. There's a there's a hard truth that has to be learned at a her and so when y'all no, were talking about no, the no, Jane because no. because what I'm saying is like maybe that's not a good example, but I don't mm. like the thought of black parents teaching their kids that well, you we must have to fight. have the talk, but at the same time, we 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 give our children the talk. You you aren't giving your children the the the, the um the, the talk. I I, I had a, a conversation with someone where I said when we give our children the talk, we're telling them how to survive. You right, all right. say, okay, well you all this is a real thing. Now, but yeah. this is going to happen within okay. So you give the police officer your uh, license, whatever, and you say yes or no, sir, and everything will be fine. For us, it's like do not move. Put your hands here. Do do this. Do this. Even now, with the police have, just with the school, though. I mean, even even now, my driver's license is in my phone because it's like literally, if I have, if I ever get get, get stopped by the police, I will take it out, put it on the dashboard where where the officer can see it. I am not moving. We that, teach that, our children how that's to a perfect, survive. That's a perfect example, right? Why are you like that? because we have to be why though why because society has made us this way not society you don't i, I don't want to hear about about the media because the media was is. not there but okay but you know what but, but see, now, i can agree with bow on this one because yeah. i don't have no problems with no police because, because you're, you're hearing they prove me you're over hearing. i act accordingly because you're hearing about the the Justice Smollett or or like the the Brianna like those types okay. were all right. Well then, okay. Well then, okay. Then let me ask 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 this. And then when Emmett, when Emmett Till's mother allowed him to go down south, one thing that she told him was she said, "Make sure you say yes, sir, no, sir. The South is not like the North. Is not like that." So when he's running around with his cousins, whatever, and they're saying, Emmett, don't say that, whatever. And his uncle and aunt are saying, Emmett, you cannot do that here. You have to. They're teaching him how to survive that summer. They were trying to teach him, you cannot do that. You're not up north anymore. You are here. Do you see you other, but you don't see white kids or family saying you better not do that you better not yeah. because you but you because you know why why if a white kid whistled at a white woman would that kid have been dragged out of his home and been beaten and and i mean i'm just asking would that no, have happened to him what, what i'm saying is i mean i i'm not familiar with that story but i i mean this is going to sound t terrible of me to say this but i can guarantee i'll look into that story and it won't just be because he whistled yeah, there'll be something else. Oh no 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 no! That's this was because he whistled. Uh, you can go ahead. I anything that I tell you that you can go look because, like I said, a lot of stuff that you're going through right now, especially with conspiracy, like we born like that. We we witnessed it. We know, like especially American. Uh, yeah, I, it's it's you be the dead horse over here, brother. Because you're right. You I, <laughs> and that's where I say that. Yeah, so, the, but the, you got to look at that. That's the yeah, ridiculousness of it. Uh, yeah, okay, go ahead and look okay, that story then. up. That little boy, is, even even if so, regardless, it's a, 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 the, it's a little boy. So okay, it's nothing to be justifiable. So when, are there, are there places on this planet that white people are not safe? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yes. Yes. Not many of yes. your places in America, though. Yes. You yes. Just, but, you, but, you, you but, see what America, America is. What was the say the white little girl from the from the basement here in Cleveland? The, with the even like you live, you know, white little girl come out, she gonna be protected anywhere because black folks don't take no. Then we don't we don't hate. And like you can't come in my barbecue and they gonna they gonna love you like a brother. See, they you come to my barbecue and they gonna take you in. You know what I'm saying? But we just don't. We, when you don't feel the opposite, when you don't feel the opposite, that's a problem. So I'm just saying, yeah, of course it's places you can't go, but it's it's definitely way more places where I can't go. And 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 
I would suggest that you see, you know, you know, when it comes to uh, to you America, can study all of this. You can it's, it's, it's all, all, it's all the stories, you know, you know, that are out there. And and like I said, when I found out why my father refused to go down south, woo. Hmm. I, I know, you know, I know. It's it's so you had to look into it. Something, you know, more to it, you know, whatever. But I, I implore you. I think it's on Netflix now. But either look it up and read it, or the rape of Reese Taylor. This was back in know, back know, in the but, Listen, with, with all due you respect, know, I'll, no. I'll, I'll probably watch it. But what no. I'm saying is, these shows that you're saying, go watch it, go watch it, and, mm -hmm. and white people are are watching. It's causing a white guilt for something that they have never okay, done. Okay, well then, well then, well then, don't, well then, don't, don't watch it. But it is part of history. It is part of someone's family history. I can look back. I'm not trying to cause white guilt by telling you that I had a great uncle. I had two great uncles in my family that were lynched. That's not me telling you white guilt. This is something yeah, that happened. I don't want you to feel, yeah, this I don't, I, yeah, that's another that thing. I don't want you to feel family. guilt, guilt. I, I wouldn't want you to feel guilt. To feel guilt. I'm, I'm just saying that this happened. And because, and the only reason why I say go and, and, and watch it, I'm not trying for you to be white guilt because you said for Emmett Till, I bet that there was something else. There wasn't. He whistled at a white, he whistled at a white woman at a time where white people were, were putting themselves Did higher. she lie? Did she lie? Or something like that, or something happened. She, she about, lied for her husband and her and and her her husband and his two friends. And she was interviewed when she was like eighty something, and she admitted that she lied. But again, she got to live into her her eighties. But Emma Till died, you know. And not only did they beat the and and if you see the photos, you have to see the photos of him, because when they found his body that was weighed down with a industrial fan that had, he had been in the water for two weeks and when he, they shipped his body back to to his mother his mother refused to have a closed casket she wanted an open casket she wanted the world to see what they did to her baby her only son and but, but i understand what you're saying but fast forward to today ain't nothing that necessarily is going on right now it did so that that affects us though you know, so when we say that, I, it's not to cause guilt at all. No, it's, hold, it's on, hold on, hold on, but you have okay, but you have Ronald Green. Well, no, 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 I no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even. And, and, and you, had, you had Michael, and you had Michael. What's his face? Um, that was lynched in Michigan. It is still going on. It, it may well, no, not no, no, no. What I'm saying is that the fact is that it happened. If we're, if we're, if I'm telling you that, it's just to take accounts of over historically why black folks feel the way they feel. Right. right and, and you right. could also recite the things that are today i just didn't want to go down that rabbit hole but my point is it's a thing and why is a thing and it's not necessarily saying hey you know what you should feel guilty opposed to saying hey you know what i want you to aware that my 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 feelings and the way i think about this situation it may be valid now you could say you know well black folks still can pull themselves up by their bootstraps you gotta able to, you can go to work you can go do this and you're absolutely right so it's it's a certain amount of governing that we need to be better at at our own communities. Sure. Absolutely, right. Absolutely. But, Absolutely. but it's, it's, it's not it's not saying that it's it has to be totally whatever the word is exclusive to one another. They're they're working at the same time, you know. And so and 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 of course I know I gotta solve black on black crime. You know we you, you gotta mm -hmm. get better in Chicago, of course. But the, I'll be damned that the police gonna add to it. You know, come on, golly. You know, so, so we gonna bring we gonna bring. Uh, awareness to that, you know, because how can you fix yourself? How can you fix your own damn house if somebody out there, <laughs> out there tearing it down on the outside? So that's that's the thing. Um, and also, it's just quite purposefully, like you know, and it's, it's a slap in the face. Some of these laws, some of these ways, and and that, that's the thing. So, but I I get what you're saying. Like I, the essence of what you're saying, I get. But I also want you to know that there's definitely uh, there's definitely a, a a legitimacy and when when black folks they, i don't think they're trying to guilt you they just made they may be making you aware and they're not complaining they're just making you aware like it's more so because i i you know i mean i ain't about to i, mean, I ain't about to cry over nothing i'm gonna still i still gotta go up and go to work yeah still gotta raise my baby girl you know i, I gotta do what i gotta do yeah
See, see that that stuff I already already know. Like, I, that's yeah. the stuff that I'm into. Like, I mm. I know the way, you know, the the, the puppeteer in the division and all that stuff. And, mm. and some of these quotes by some of these, you know, puppet shadow government people, like uh, like throughout the years and the history, mm. they're just disgusting. And they openly say that they are causing black and white division, and they're and they're using it to to benefit themselves mm. because we're distracted. We're we're fighting amongst each other. Well, they're mm-hmm. passing all these laws and taking our freedoms. So I totally, I, I already knew that, that there was racism mm-hmm. and all that. But, um, you know, I've always just, you know, this has been, it's been a great chat and, and learning things and, and uh, you know. It's, but you're it's, not the only one. I want to say you're not the only one that thinks that way. Like there's several people within our own community that say, you know what, the hell with them. We got to overcome ourselves. Like that's a thing like that. And so you're, you're not telling, you know, it's not a new idea right so it's something that definitely registers deeply in a lot of a lot of conservative ways um are are definitely progressed our our lifestyles through legislation through it slowly but surely you know more so than necessarily the radical ways you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying that that a michael max might suggest or you know a, a black panther party might suggest you know so i it it, it it's working in different areas it's, you got to attack it from all angles and um and definitely us coming together as people is is one thing but we still have to to some degree have to have a keen understanding of each other right and so that's what i think we're searching for here making sure we have a keen understanding of both either each other's situation and so when we do move forward there won't be no angst you know what i'm saying and and and, um that's just the you know in order for us to come together you know to move forward we got to to some degree understand each other right yeah yeah perfect well said well, this has um, definitely been a good chat. <laughs> I love y'all. It's like talking we are, crap. We're oh, at yeah. the one hour 16 mark, so that's not too, too bad. So, um, yeah, so chill. Hey, girl, get ready. Sweet Willie coming over there in a minute. Sit your ass down. <laughs> so, um, see, I always have a glass of wine after the show. But you know, I, I, had, I had to like <laughs> I got my little thing over here. I can fill it up. Um, so, you know, um, chill. I want, you know, yeah, about about Sweet Willie. He's what? Like I said, he's two, he's two feet tall or he's two inches tall. Uh, you can't. You married. Don't be asking no questions. Uh, don't give me in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Just because I'm married don't mean I can't. I can't. I can't. Don't give me in trouble. You know? Just give me in trouble. Who is that? That's, that's that. Sweet Willie. Oh, that's sweet Willie. What you going? Yeah, that's what sweet Willie on the phone with. <laughs> oh, hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. No. 